Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to wait. Wrong channel. Hello, sacred everyone. I'm just kidding. My name is Clay Clark, and I'm really glad to be talking to you guys today. But before I even say anything else, I want to say thank you, Sacred, for allowing me to actually upload this to the channel. You guys are awesome, and uh, the, just the message you're presenting to the community is is amazing. So I, I guess let's get into the talk now. Man, uh, I think one of the most valuable things to me, uh, at least thought-wise, is, uh, is purpose. Uh, it's actually the reason why I even came to know Christ. Uh, it it kind of started off when I was I was younger. I I had always I'd always felt empty on the inside. I, I remember when I was a kid, uh, looking out on this bridge next to my road, and and always looking down through the trees, uh, looking as the water passed, and just wondering why it happens. Why why is this here? Why am I here? Because as far as I was concerned, I. I I was pointless. I, I was just a, like another speck of dust in a in a in a bowl or something. And so that, throughout that whole my whole childhood, really, I just I kept trying to find my what made me me. Why why I always existed. And so I, I kind of tried to. I tried to lean on on my uh, my want for friends or my my thought of uh, being funny, and a lot of the times it, it really did fail me. Uh, I, I, I kind of turned to bullying other kids, and I never really enjoyed that. It, it wasn't fun, but it got me accepted. It it made me feel whole. Then I, it, it kind of caught up to me. Uh, all those kids finally, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand that, that hurt in their eyes. Just, just to watch that pain, knowing that I was the one making them feel less significant. So, so I stopped. I, I, I stopped making fun of them. They, they no longer were, were my reason for being who I was. And then as soon as I stopped doing that. Uh, the friends stopped coming. No one really wanted to talk to me. If anything, uh, it was almost as if uh, the tables turned, where I I was the one who, who was being made fun of, the one who was who who was judged for being who I was. And uh, for for a time being, I was fine with that. I, I didn't mind people making fun of me. If anything, I, I used to just go with it and be like, ah, yeah, good one. And uh, then it really it really started to annoy me. And I went back to that, that, that feeling of just not knowing who or, or really what I was, why I, why I, my name was even Clee. But then, uh, well, I guess not then. I, I'd always been introduced to the Bible and verses and stuff because my mom, uh, every, every Sunday was my mom. We'd, we'd go and sit in the living room and, and watch this, this guy named Charles Stanley on on the TV and he was an extremely encouraging guy but every time he, he would preach a message it always felt like he was talking right to me and I, when I was younger I didn't like that I didn't like feeling like I was in the wrong or that what I liked just wasn't right but then something miraculous happened God really he touched my heart and he, he gave me what I was I was seeking for, what I had always wanted. He gave me a reason for living. And I, I know some of you people who, who don't know God or Jesus Christ, and this may seem kind of ridiculous, but th this is honestly what happened to me. I, I, I was I was around like, I want to say 14-ish. Uh, I had went to a revival service at Sharon Baptist Church, uh, which is the church I go to now. And they re they just kept talking about hey you know it's better late than now to like do it now if you're gonna if you're gonna try and come to Christ don't wait don't wait because you never know what's gonna happen and I, I told myself well, well what does it matter what if I go to Christ what what's gonna come out of it and, and then he told me I I remember hearing the preacher say that. It, if you come to Christ, 
y your motive, or the, the reason for you being you will be to talk to people about Christ, to be able to express the love he, he has shown you. And I know that may seem like a very simplistic purpose, a, a small reason for living, but that's what's been driving me. That's, that's what kept me afloat, just knowing that I live to love and praise God and to tell these people about it. And I guess that's what makes me me. This is why I even do these videos, why I even try and be encouraging. So I can just spread God's love. Anyway, guys, I thank you for watching. That was enough, uh, enough of that. Anyway, uh, Sacred, thank you again for letting me upload this. Uh, I love you all. Take it easy and God bless. Bye.